Are you always struggling and wondering why you can't lose weight? You've tried and tried, you lose five pounds, you gain five pounds, you lose three pounds, you gain six pounds, and it's an ongoing roller coaster. Well, let me show you a little example of why you're struggling. And if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what else I should teach you. How you were born matters, number one. Number two, how your mom treated you, how your dad treated you, how your parents moved you from an apartment to an apartment, how your parents switched schools, how your parents weren't there for you some days, how your parents were not allowing you to walk to the mailbox because your mom was scared someone's gonna take you, blah, blah, blah. How you were raised up until the age of 18 is not your fault, okay? If you were emotionally abused like I was, it's not your fault, it's not my fault, okay? The boys who hurt you, not your fault because no one taught you that boys don't mature as fast. And so when you like the boy in first grade and he didn't like you back, he just wasn't ready yet. And so up until 18, everything happened to you, meaning you were dragged from school to school, apartment to apartment, you didn't do your laundry, you couldn't cook for yourself, you had no decision making of what went into your body, which is the speech that was from my first form, right? Okay? How you die, is your fault. How you were born, not your fault. As Soon as you turn 18, everything from there is your fault because now you're an adult who makes choices. And so if your parents screwed you up like mine did, it is up to you and I to undo the way we grew up. Not our parents, that ship has sailed, you're now an adult. So the choices you make today matter and how you live the rest of your life. How you die is up to you and God, okay? Yeah, it is your fault. It is your fault because how you live your life is your fault. So I have kidney disease. I could <laughs> eat my way to be unhealthy and ruin my kidneys and how I die is my fault. So my mom, basically killed herself. My mom had kidney disease. She was on dialysis. She was not allowed to eat certain foods, but she ate them anyway. So technically, she killed herself at 63. She didn't have to die at 63. All she had to do was not eat the watermelon, the bananas, the apples, drink the juice her coworkers brought to her, in the hospital. But she put that shit in her mouth anyway. So she chose the way she died. I'm choosing to do my best to live not like she did. Make sense? So we all have a choice, just like right now. Welcome to Southwest Airlines. We know you have a choice. And we appreciate, we appreciate you for being here, the 53 people who are here on this lovely evening on my TikTok. You have a choice to be here, and I appreciate you being here, or you don't have to be here, right? It's a choice. So what you put into your mouth is a choice, okay? I'll give you another example. Anybody have a dog? Well, I don't know why I'm raising my hand. My dog's died. What speech? I'm, I just gave it. That's the speech. <laughs> the speech inspire senses is the one I just, this, that was it. So I'll give you another example. Dog people. Dog people, dog people. Okay. <laughs> I know you would agree, and this is my business speech. I know you would agree <laughs> that it's frustrating to lose weight. 
I know you would agree that you give your dogs the best food that's sold at the market. You think of your dog and you want your dog to live a nice, happy life and you love your dog who comes and sits on your lap and licks your face off and you make the dog happy. When the dog goes, mommy, mommy, take me outside, take me outside. You're like, well, I don't really want to take you outside right now because I don't feel like walking. But the dog is like, but mommy, 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 take me for a walk, take me for a walk. And in your head, you're like, no, I kind of just want to sit here and eat popcorn. And the dog's like, but mommy, 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 please, 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 take me for a walk, take me for a walk. And finally, you're like, oh, God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll take you for a freaking walk. But you don't want to take the dog for a walk. You just want to sit there and eat popcorn. And that's how it is in your stomach. You're craving popcorn. But metabolism inside you is the dog saying, bitch, take me for a walk, bitch. Take me for a walk. And you're like, I don't want to take you for a walk. I just want to sit here and eat popcorn. i just comfortable. Your brain says, I'm so comfortable on this couch. It's so easy to sit on the couch and put the feet up and have sugar cravings. It's so easy for me to go into Hobby Lobby, buy gummy worms, sit in the parking lot, and shove each one into my mouth. That was easy. And as I sat there, I was thinking, oh gosh, it's 3.55. My kids come out of school in 10 minutes and I have to drive to pick them up. And then I have to listen to them scream and yell in the back seat while I drive them home. And so instead, you know what? I don't want to hear them scream and yell. I'm gonna call Shayna. Yeah, I haven't talked to Shayna in a while. And let me talk to Shayna. Hey, Shayna. Oh, I missed you, Shayna. 15 minutes later, I gotta go. There's a cop behind me pulling me over for a speeding. Gee, what a nice afternoon I had. And then, as if that's not enough to add to my day, people are still screaming negative things on my Halloween makeup. So do you think I wanna be on this treadmill right now? Coaching you right now? No, bitches, I don't, but I am. Because I have to take my fat ass on the treadmill. Because I had a really fun weekend eating and I need to be here walking. And so with that, I'm showing you how I'm fighting my mind because I really wanted to finish the bag of candy and sit on my couch with my feet up. But no, I know I have to do the treadmill because that's what my body requires. The dog inside me said, mommy, take me for a walk. I don't care you got a speeding ticket because I require a walk because I'm a metabolism like a dog and I require a walk. That's how it is. Your metabolism, every time you eat, you have to take that into consideration. Your metabolism is your dog. If you're going to feed the dog high shelf level food from the market, okay? Top shelf ain't cheap. If you're gonna give your dog top shelf food, next time you have candy, look into your shirt. Look at your shirt, okay? Look into your shirt and be like, I'm not giving you candy. I'm not giving you candy. I'm gonna take you for a walk. <laughs> I hope you like that analogy and explanation. And if that made sense to you, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.